welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium. I am doing a, a whole new background tonight, and the background seems really dark <laughs> and ominous. It's kind of like this little Halloween background. I don't know, you guys in the chat, tell me, is this is this too dark, or do we like the spooky spook? How does everything look? I didn't get to test it prior to um, prior to everything. So let me know, what do you think? Are we keeping this or are we going to go for something completely different next week? Okay, so this is Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am said psychic and medium and channel Tony Green. Couple things, <laughs> um, couple PSAs real quick. Um, for everybody who's new and everybody returning, I'm just going to give a few reminders about the show, how things work, how 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 things work <clears throat> and on the show and with things just in general. So the first thing I want to say is I will be taking callers. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, you can call in at 845-277-9131. If you want to ask a question or connect with a loved one, please don't forget to push the one on the keypad so your hand goes up and I know you have a question. Otherwise, you're just listening to the show. I'm not going to bother you. Numero uno, I will be taking, no, number two. That is not uno. That is dos, dui whatever, however they say to number two, um, I will be taking uh, uh, questions in the chat. So if you have a question and you're watching me live on YouTube right now, post that question in the chat. So I go live every Monday and every Wednesday, Monday at noon central. And you can call in and join the show live on that number, or you can join on YouTube and I will answer your questions either way. Either way, either way, I'm answering questions. I will never reach out to you and ask you if you want a reading. Um, the only way to get a private reading from me is to go to my website. I have it posted in the description below and on just about everything. It is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Or to call my business number. That's not the call-in number for the show, but the business number is 414-897-2869. Um, Only way to get a reading. I do not email people readings for so many reasons, but mostly my dyslexia and grammar. Let's keep it on the way up there, honest truth part of everything, okay? Next, um, if you do ask a question and you've made a donation, please post that so I can get to your question right away. I will try to get to your question first so I don't miss it, okay? And if you are on the call log and you've made a donation and you put in the call log, I've made a donation along with your area code so I can get to you first. And yeah, that is gonna take priority just because those are people who are clearly um, contributing to the show. Okay, uh, that doesn't mean I won't answer your question if you have not. Just if you have, you get bumped to the top of the line. Couple quick things about Monday's show. So I had a caller who had called in a bit ago and she asked about a job and all the energy was that she got, she was going to get offered this job. And then she called back and said that as of yet, she had not been offered said job. And she was upset. Now, I want to remind people, everything is energy. At the time she called in, yes, yeah, she probably, and it was not a for, for sure thing. She did not get this job yet. There, It's still in, in, in the, I think she said she didn't, but she called somebody above, which never do that. You're not working for that above person. If you want a job and the person that's in charge of hiring you and going to be your boss says no, and you go above them and you get that job, you're asking to be placed in Haiti. 
that person will never be good. No. But second, um, when you call in and ask a question about you, it's and it's specifically you and your energy that's easier to answer because your energy is always going to be consistent. When other people are involved, who knows who came in after her for an interview? Who knows? Maybe the person doing the hiring had a family member that really needed that job. We don't know what happens after the fact. I did get there was some timeline stuff. She denied it. It's okay. When you're asking a question, please remember things can change. Energies can change. And definitely other people can change. When it comes to jobs, I always say, keep, even if you get offered a job, keep looking until you find that perfect fit. Always. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is, oh yeah. One of the songs from last week was, I don't want to know. And I made the comment, no, no, no. I do want to know. If you're creeping, I want to know. And somebody, a very, very brave soul who only gave me the initial of, of either their first or last name, which was a B. I don't know if this is a man or a woman, so I'm going to give you two different little analogies. This person said, why do you care if somebody's uh, intimate with somebody else while you're with them? What's the big deal? Well, madam or sir, whomever you are B, I'm going to give you a couple analogies here. I think most people think it's a big deal. If you think you're in a monogamous relationship with somebody and they're putting their, they're porky pigging somebody else, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and for those who want to know why I use all these strange little words for the deed, it's because the community standards have gotten tight, folks. They've gotten tight which is why I'm going to explain these analogies using what I'm using. <laughs> um, sir, if you are a if if you are a sir and you're eating a ding dong, I love ding dongs. They're the little round cakes with the cream filling. And you, you have a ding dong and you bite into that ding dong and you don't realize somebody else stuck their tongue all the way in that ding dong and flushed it around. And then do you still feel the same biting that ding dong, sir or, or ma'am? No, you, you probably would not want to eat that ding dong after the fact of somebody else sticking their little tongue in that ding dong, would you? No. Well, neither do we. Second analogy, um, why I would want to know, and most adult people would want to know, if you have a popsicle, sir or ma'am, and uh, you put your popsicle down and you leave the room for a quick moment or so. And somebody else sticks that popsicle all the way down their throat, puts it back on the table. Maybe somebody you know, somebody you don't know. Who knows? Somebody at the store. I don't know. Had that popsicle all the way down their, you know, mouth and or wherever. They put that popsicle just willy-nilly that popsicle and then you pick that popsicle up and you put it in your mouth and then you find out somebody had it all the way down their mouth and and then you don't know who that person is or maybe you do do you still want to eat that popsicle do you still want to lick that lolly popsicle no sir you do not ma'am you do not so b b whomever you are i think most people could agree those are the reasons that most adults People in what they consider to be a monogamous relationship would want to know. I don't even let somebody else eat off of my fork for all of those reasons. Oh, sir, you might have a cold sore coming on. You cannot eat off of my fork. I'm just saying now, B, from my email, if, if you feel differently and you're free like that. That's good for you. But most of us are not. So just so you know, I hope those little analogies helped you to know why we would want to know. 
most of us. Okay, now on to the show. And here is what I'm going to say. If you have a question, please post it in the chat. I'm going to start with names from those above. And um, they may be saying your name, their name, or a name of someone you love. The first name I'm hearing is... Uh, I, I'm not going to say that. I can't. Okay, we're going to skip that. It was the name of a country, which I am not going to say. Um, David, uh, uh, Jean, L Lola, um, the guy who does my hair has a dog named Lola. It is so cute. I love Lola. Okay. Um, the next name I'm getting is Rocky, Francesca. And then Maud. Okay, on that, I'm going to go into songs. These could be songs that were important to them. You, you listen to them. Or the songs can be the answer to a question that you need to know. The first one, the first uh, song is, um, <clears throat> I'm just hearing a group, Nirvana. The next, uh, uh, um, I'm hearing David which is a name, but I don't know, maybe that's a, music, a musician or a song. And then the next uh, the next thing I am hearing is, um, boy, they are, they are giving me weirdness tonight, which is kind of awesome. Okay, the next, the next song that I'm hearing is, um, I'm just going to do one more song because the songs are coming really slowly. And then we're going to go into questions and callers and such. The next song is L Let Me Love You. That song, Let Me Love You. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the, uh, there was a question prior to, um, prior to the show starting. And um, it was, um, my question is, will my nephew get professional help? <clears throat> he's on drugs and his father will be intervening and hope he will get help. I want him to get help. We all want, want him to get help. And I feel like there are a lot of people right now who might be in this situation. Her nephew is 21. And the message I got that, that since he's been 12 or 13, he's been doing some sort of something. It could be drinking, smoking weed, uh, pharmaceuticals, whatever it is. Um, being over 21 or being over 18, I, I feel like he is not going to, he has to want to quit and he doesn't really see a reason for that right now. He would have to be isolated either in-house or in his father's house or somebody's house. And the bigger thing is with people who are on drugs, they need something bigger than the drugs to get them off of it. So a lot of people who are on drugs, if you say, let's start this business together, that might be enough to help them get there, but it might not be enough to help keep them there because things go wrong and then they have a little bit of trouble uh, staying clean and sober, which is very difficult and challenging. I feel like right around 20. Four twenty-five, um, something will come in, but at twenty-three, something you know, I feel like he's going to have a lot of really rough moments, and I apologize. Um, it, and I don't want to say this the way they're saying it to me, but I've always promised I'll say what I hear. If he makes it, makes it to twenty-three, twenty-four, there's going to there's going to be a lot of rough room moments in between here and now, and there's going to be something at twenty-three, twenty-four that's going to make him really reconsider uh, what what he's doing, and then at twenty-five again and again, um, depending on his because it, it, they're putting all the all the things have all the things on them now. It's no longer clean. And so you can just do like a smoking a blunt and it could have fentanyl on it and that's it. 
you're done. So that's what I'm getting about that mirrors. And I'm sorry that the message is not a better message for you. I wish it was. And I apologize. And I pray for him. I did, however, put the TikTok out today for addiction. So if you don't, if you do have an addiction, you can use it for yourself. But every time you play that, you can say, angels go to my nephew, angels go to my husband, angels go to and uh, I recommend for that, go to what caused the addiction, not the clearing of the drug addiction, because if the source, whatever caused that addiction isn't healed, they'll just turn to something else, which is what people do. Okay. Uh, Grandma Kitty's Halloween stories. <laughs> I think I love your name. Uh, I'm going to go to the first caller and then I'm going to come back to your question. The first caller is 310. 310. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Vince calling from New York. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for calling in tonight. How can I help you? Well, um, I've been looking for work. Uh, for about a month now, because I got laid off from my job. Sorry. So, um, I I was supposed to start a new job with a company that uh, they string um, cable underground and above ground, but I don't like working in really harsh, cold weather, and the pay is not as much as I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to opt out of getting that job, because um, I'm waiting for uh, to hear from a dairy company. I was interviewed on the phone on Monday about it and I should know either tomorrow or Friday and then today I had a job interview in person at a company called Can Pack. They make uh, cans for like the soda companies and the breweries and whatnot. So I'm wondering, I felt really good about that one too and I'm wondering if either one of them are going to come through. Okay, did you, I'm sorry, did you say your name is Vince? Yes. Okay, Vince. Yeah, we've chatted before. Okay, so Vince, the one thing yeah. I'm going to say to you is whatever job you get, take it. I don't I don't care if it's digging and excuse my being a little not I don't care if it's digging ditches or digging whatever, take the job because we are not in a position right now with this economy economy. Yeah, I said that right. To be turning away any job. If it's not a job you love, keep looking while you're working. And the skills you acquire from this job will get you to another job. I don't feel like the second one is very strong. And sometimes when I get a no, it means like, even if you get this job, it won't last very long. And the third one, the verdict is still out, but it doesn't feel strong. What I am going to tell you, and I cannot stress this enough, go into different areas of work, look at things you've never done before, any company that's willing to train, even if it's an area that you don't think you would like, or you wouldn't necessarily want, get into it. Because a lot of companies, once you're in, they will move you up quickly, especially if they're always looking. But I'm going to tell you, you, you will be much better off doing something that is... Um, not isolated, but where you're not confined in a space with the same people all the time. Okay, Vince? Um, so like in a factory, okay. in a company where you're confined with the same people all the time, that is not the best fit for you. Now, if there's something, let's just say like you go to a... Um, like a internet company and they train you how to uh, go into people's houses and fix their boxes or do whatever. And they provide that, that, that's, that might be a good fit. That might be a good new start. And then the company will move you up and don't worry about it being your forever position. Worry more about getting the position 
and just getting money coming in. Otherwise, you are going to be um, you're going to be in a position where you are really going to put yourself even further behind. And we need you to be in a position where you are very uh, firmly moving forward with new skills in new areas, learning new things, and not in a situation where you're around the same people every single day. Okay. So for example, one of my brothers drives truck and even though he has to interact with the same people every day, he's in his truck by himself every day where he wants to be. And he loves that. He does it. He knows his personality is not to like always interact with other people. So what I'm going to say to you right now, Vince, is whatever position is offered, take it, keep looking, look in areas you wouldn't have normally looked for, and then keep moving forward with that, okay? All right. Thank you so much, Vince. And we're all going to say a prayer for you that you get the right position. And I'm going to do a clearing that anybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching, the perfect position and career comes in for us. We're going to clear that to a yes. Anything stopping or blocking it has been cleared, healed, released. I get a no. So we're going to do that, Vince. And I wish you luck on your journey, my friend. I truly do. And we will be saying prayers for you. Thank you, Vince. All right. Thanks. You are welcome. It is tough out there, folks. Um, in some areas, it is even more difficult than other areas. So please, by all means, if you are offered something, say yes. Because once you have that stability, even if you get a different offer the next day, you can run. I mean, you can run to the bank with that next offer. And we always feel better during interviews and filling out applications once we know we have something to fall on. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Now I'm going to go to Grandma Kitty's Halloween stories, which I just love that. Okay. Uh, hello, pretty lady. Why? Thank you. Um, I have lots some much loved family members recently and in the last couple of years i have lost i'm sorry i've lost i'm i'm very dyslexic i'm very sorry i have lost some much loved family members recently and in the last couple of years i feel my mom might have some advice i would love uh to hear from you for them if you can. I can, Grandma Kitty. Uh, please tell me. I love, I, I always want to respect loved ones on the other side. So please tell me your mom's first name. And Grandma Kitty, um, the first thing I hear when I go to tap in is the name, th three names are coming through. If they're not for you, they're for somebody else. So please don't think I can't tap in just because I got Harold, Gerard. There, there was a, a, and Gerald, Harold or Gerald or Harold and Gerald and Gerard. Now I know you're asking for your mom, Grandma Kitty, but those are the three names. And maybe that's another loved one on the other side. So Grandma Kitty, please put your mom's um, first name in the the uh, chat so I can pick up on her energy. Hey, Heather. Hey, everybody who's on the chat. Thank you so much. And again, anybody watching right now on any of the TV stations, listening in on any of the podcasts, our radio stations, we go live every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. You can call in and ask questions or um, be, join us on YouTube and ask questions. Grandma Kitty, um, while I'm waiting for that answer, I might go to the next caller if I don't get that name in the chat soon. Um, Maris Sherbear, um, Doris, thank you so much. Estella, oh my gosh, Estella, how are you? Juanita, um, I yes, just post your question, Juanita, and I'll be happy to answer it. It's one question per person, and I go between the phone calls and the 
and the the chat. Uh, so be patient. I can only go 60 minutes because everybody, that's how long TV time slot is for the TV show, which that's what we're recording for. The TV show is Psychic Medium Tony Green. Okay, so Doris, Doris, where are you here? Right here. Okay, so I instantly get something with the throat. I don't know if there was something with the throat near the end. It's very difficult for me to talk. I want to talk like this. So Grandma Kitty, please give us confirmations as we go, <clears throat> as we go through this. Whatever this is, this is clearly not me. The next thing that I am getting, uh, the next thing she wants to tell you, stay strong. No matter what comes in, stay strong. You've got this. I'm going to ask her to step back just a little bit because this is a bit much for me. It feels like there's a hundred pounds sitting here and I just can't breathe or I don't know if there was something with her chest and or throat or COPD or whatever it was. Oh, she's tickled. she's like um, one of her comfort. OK, thank you for backing off just a little bit. One of her things for you is she plays with your hair, with your head or hair a lot. Like I feel like some, you know how you feel that thing in your hair, but there's nothing there. So she does that. That's one of your, your um, confirmations that she's around you, Grandma Kitty. The next thing that I'm getting that she wants to tell you uh, is stay strong, stay very strong. No matter what comes in, you've got this. You can handle anything that's going to be, um, that has been coming in or is going to be coming in. There's going to be a little bit of relief, a little bit of reprieve is the word that she's using. A little bit of a reprieve coming in. This reprieve is going to give you a little bit of relief. Like you're going to go, <sighs> Oh, maybe that feeling is like you feel like you're being, maybe that's the feeling that you have right now because she's saying when this comes in, you're going to be like, oh, oh. Um, and I do feel like when this comes in, you are just going to love it. You're going to, it's going to be something very beneficial for you. It's going to be such a relief, such a relief is coming in for you. So please know that. I hope that's helpful for you. Hey, Patrick. Hi. Okay. Juanita, your question is going to be next, but I'm going to take the next caller first. Uh, nine, four, five. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi, Tony. It's good to hear you. This is Mary calling from Florida. I love the analogy you had tonight. That was really <laughs> funny. And um, I'd like to know, where do you uh, submit donations on your channel? Oh, th oh th thank you so much. Um, in the in the um, bio, there's a thing that says solo dot Tony, and you can do it there or on my there's also a link to my website, so you can do it there. There's a donation button. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. So, uh, Did you do PayPal? I'm sorry? Did you do PayPal? One more time. Do you accept PayPal? Yeah, it is PayPal. That's the button that it is under. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I didn't understand that. Sure. So how can I help you, love? What's okay. your question? What would you like? Who would you like to connect with tonight? Yeah, well, I I had a couple of questions on my own, but this is this is something going on in the neighborhood that is just really bothering me because there is a missing service dog who disappeared ten days ago, no. and the family was visiting from the other coast, and the dog escaped. And the children are beside themselves. And half the family has gone back and half of them are here searching for a beautiful black lab named Rosie. And they've gotten so many leads and it still has not turned this dog up. And I did have one reading, which was pretty detailed, but I passed it on. But so far, that hasn't led to the dog being found. So I, I decided tonight to ask the question to help get Rosie out. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I get is I don't feel like this dog is running willy-nilly. However, I do feel like this dog did not know how to get back to where it was. Like dogs, when you take them on walks, they, they know their way home. Um, I don't feel like this dog knew right. how to get back to where it was. I do feel like the dog 
is I, I, if this is the description of the owner, I apologize, but I see a woman who's a little fuller in the middle and short brown, short hair, um, and glasses. I just briefly, briefly at my door, so that's sort of close to what she looks like. Okay, thank you. So and now I know that's the owner. So I'm, I was going to say, I see the dog with this person. That's because that's the person that owns this dog. Okay. So what I'm going uh -huh. to say is this dog is going to turn up. I hear between a week and a month, it's going to turn up and it's going to need a little bit of retraining. I do feel like someone has this dog right now. I feel like they don't uh -huh. realize that this dog is, is what is, um, is a, a, maybe a service dog, but what's going to happen is this person is going to end up turning this dog into a shelter so it doesn't look like they were keeping the dog. So they, they probably have this dog now and then they're going to turn it in within like a month's time because they're going to realize they really can't go any place or do anything with this dog because everybody's going to keep looking for it. I do feel like to put the heat on. Right, there's posters everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere you look, there's posters and a big reward too, I, which I personally don't care about, but um, I, I just want to see the dog I do. I do think to put the heat on, maybe you should find a news station that can do a human interest story to really get the dog's picture out there. Um, that's, I, exactly, that's exactly what I told them. And I do feel like somebody, who, whoever has this dog, like a family member, whether it be like a brother, sister, cousin, is going to realize that that's the dog and they have to return it. So I thank you. So I thank you so much for calling in and asking that. And I hope that the dog gets returned sooner than later. And it does have a chip, so that if they turn it in, then they'll find the chip and the owners are registered. Yeah, and I do, you know what, I am going to say this, air tags for like the Apple phones and the Android phones, these tags, if when they get this dog back or anybody who has a dog should put one on their dog and because then you would know. Yes, I'm familiar. I just saw that online. Yes, that's a great idea. Exactly. You would don't know. even bother with this. But this dog had a vest on, very flashy, best friend, best everything. He was, she was well marked, this dog. Unless well, they take it off, you know, that she had good markings and good, good ID. Well, hopefully this person will um, return the dog very quickly or turn it into the shelter very quickly. Do you feel like it's close by, like not far from the location it was lost? Um, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like the dog is in, I, I hear home, so I'm going to say in a home. Is it near where it was lost? Not really. But what is, you know, what's near and what's far is relative. So I do feel like wherever the dog is, is, I don't feel like you're necessarily going to find this dog. Like if you, I, the one thing I'm getting is whomever has this dog, I feel like it might be a guy and this guy might be taking the dog every place with him. So it's not like he's taking the dogs for a walk or whatever. But um, I think somebody's going to pressure this guy into, once they realize what dog this is, the, he's going to pressure them. Somebody's going to pressure him into turning it into uh, like uh, the Humane Society or something. And so that's the information I'm getting. I'm so grateful for your call. Thank you for calling in and asking about that. Um, I really do appreciate that. And I hope that the dog is found very, very quickly and returned to the owner as quickly as possible. I'm going to go to the next question. 
and um on the chat and the next question is coming from Juanita um hey Estella again uh Juanita my mama passed I'm Okay, I, I don't think I can read. I If I read that correctly, I had to read it quietly, folks, but first. But um, my mama passed. I am got stuff going on. Does she have any message for me? Um, Juanita, I'm going to tell you the first thing that she would say is... Um, Oh, there are like three songs coming in at once, and I'm going to ask to to push back the songs. And the first thing I'm going to say is, um, she is watching over you. She is with you all the time. She is um, trying to give you the the um... okay. Here's what I'm going to say, and if I'm incorrect. I apologize. Some of the stuff you have going on in your life that's that's maybe not the good stuff or the better stuff that you absolutely love. I I absolutely feel like she's trying to separate you from it, but you don't want to let go of it. So sometimes that can be like we have a friend that's not in our best interest or a partner that's not in our best interest. But because everything else is falling apart, we just don't want to let go of that. Whatever it is, Juanita, I'm hearing something about work also. And she's saying, um, she's saying it's, it's, it, I wish you were on the phone right now. Um, Cause there's like, you have the way this is presenting to me is there are like five different piles and all of them are on fire in your mind and you're trying to put all the fires out, but each pile represents like maybe a boyfriend, maybe a work, maybe your money, maybe the place you live, maybe, you know, whatever I'm making things up. Um, and if you get rid of one or two people from your life, which I know is so much easier said than done. Half of you, more than half of your fires are going to be out and will never present again. I am going to tell you there's somebody in your life, Juanita, and they're really doing you dirty. And I don't, I'm not going to go too far in it because she's saying, you know who it is. You don't need evidence if you know. If you know, you know. You're not crazy. And I don't know what dirty means in in your situation. It could be just a friend talking bad about you or, you know, whatever it is. But as soon as you let that go or separate yourself from it, your life is going to just start to get so much better. Everything's going to fall into place. The fires are going to put themselves out. Um I don't want to, I, I, what I'm going to say, Juanita, is there's someone in your life and this person has somebody else that is maybe wanting them. So they're kind of working against you. I don't know how else to say it other than that. Somebody in, okay, thank you. Somebody in your life, you have something. That somebody wants and they're working against you to get what you have. Whether that's a job, a partner, a friend, whatever it is. That's the way I'm going to say that. Juanita, I hope that that is helpful for you. I'm going to leave that there because that's a lot going on. But your, your mama is saying she loves you and she wants you to know she's trying to show you the truth but you're not ready to see it all yet. You're going to be within a month. And I'm going to tell you when this next eclipse comes in, I, folks, there was just an eclipse and anything that is not working in our life, it came in on the 14th. Anything that is not working in our life, they are trying to remove it for us. 
And on the 28th, it's the final eclipse of a series of like, I think it's three years of eclipses. And what do eclipses do? They eclipse things out. So on the 28th, the final eclipse, the final one of this three-year series is coming in to re to just say, just surrender, just surrender and let it go. Just, I hear that song, let it go, let it go. And those are not the words to it because the next thing I'm hearing is the only words of wisdom is something, something, and let it go isn't the words to that song, but that's the way they're singing it to me. Okay, I'm going to go to the very next caller, and the very next caller is 914. The caller is 914. Hi. Hey, could you turn down? Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Michael. Absolutely. Please make sure any noise in the background is turned down. And how can I, what's your name, love? Hi, it's Catherine from New York. Beautiful. How can I help you today? I was wondering if I could get a message, please, from the other side. Sure. Give from me my the, grandmother, perhaps. What's her name? What's her first name, love? Antonia. Oh, I love that name. Okay. Grandma Antonia. And I'm sorry, what's your name, love? Catherine. Catherine, do you know a Jenny or Jen, Jen, Jenny, Jenna? It could be somebody Catherine, here. Catherine, no, a Jen. Okay. It could be somebody here or on the other side. Are you, okay. So that's the first thing I hear from your grandma. Okay. The next thing I'm going okay. to say that your grandma wants you to know is that um, okay, you um, can I ask your name, love? I mean, your age. I'm so sorry, your Catherine. age. I, yeah, Catherine. What's your age? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. okay. Okay, um, this, this is a very, um, she is, I hear a song, I heard the name Jen, Jenna, Jen, whatever it is, Jen, whatever it is, J Jen, um, and then I hear the song, Let yeah. Me Love You, and then I hear Don't Block People Out, that are tr um like I always say if somebody's not a good person and 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 they've repeatedly um been not good it's okay to let them go if they're unhealthy toxic whatever and you've given them many chances and you know it for a fact but in this case what your grandmother is saying um you don't have to be guarded to everybody um she wants you to be open to letting love in, but letting new love in. You're okay. Thank you. Oh, phew, finally. Here she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't know the struggle when I'm waiting for. <laughs> like I'm sitting here going, come on, give me the message there. Like the, the sweat starts and I'm like, grandmama, come on. <laughs> Um, she is saying, and then they're playing with my hair again. She's saying, you're, go you're about to, okay, that's the message. You're about to meet a whole new, not all at once. It's, it's not all at once. People, new people are going to start coming into your life and be discerning. I don't think any everybody who walks up into your life right now is um, should be hung on the Christmas tree as an ornament, as they say. But what I am going to say is that some of the people about to come into your life, and of course, again, be discerning, are going to end up being your new closer friends. Now, I feel like one or two of these people you're just going to click with and you're going to know, you know, you're going to have a lot in common with them and you're going to bond over your commonalities, what you have in common and your loved ones on the other side are definitely bringing you some new core group of people who are more in alignment with where you are and where you're going 
Um, so don't be afraid um, to kind of let those people in. Okay, sweetie pie? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Um, thank you so that much, resonates. Grandma. <laughs> thank you so much, Grandma. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, I thank love... you. Yeah. I, I feel like new stuff in the air. So yeah, that totally resonates. Yeah. And I, I yeah. am, I'm going to say again, be discerning. Not everybody coming about to come in is someone you should instantly bond with. However, those who are coming uh -huh. in that are in the the right, um, they, they genuinely, and you'll know, they genuinely have things in common with you or have the same systems of belief. Those are the ones you're going to just like, like best friends on the playground since the first day of school type of friends coming in is what I'm uh -huh. getting. Okay, sweetie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing. So oh my goodness! Absolutely, my pleasure. You have an amazing day. I just want to remind every. Thank you so much for calling in, Catherine, and thank you, Grandma, for coming through. I just want to remind everybody. I'm here every Monday at noon live for an hour. Every Wednesday at seven p.m. live for an hour, and I've been trying to get on. Get on in. I've been trying to get a show in on the weekends so that, um, you know, to, to connect with you guys. Okay, so Grandma Kitty said, thank you, Tony, 100%. Thank you, Grandma Kitty, for that um, confirmation. Um, Juanita Grant, I have two Juanitas in a row, love that. Will me and Dondi eventually be together? Um... Juanita, I'm going to answer that not in the way you want me to. And I apologize for that. Somebody better is coming in in a month and a half. And they're asking you to be open to other possibilities. A month and a half, I think that puts us at the beginning of December. I think. Yeah, right around that December time. I feel like somebody who is wanting what you want. And I cannot stress the importance of that. Somebody who wants what you want, somebody who is looking for the same type of relationship that you want is coming in near or around, I would say, I see November 28th or later, um, but definitely I feel like this person should be on scene before January 3rd. I feel like you meet this person out and about. It might even be while you're doing a little shopping, um, maybe some holiday shopping, turkeys or, you know, dinner, what, where, whatever kind of shopping. Don't, don't think if it's... Um, it might be uh, uh, for that big Friday shopping thing coming in. Um, whatever it is, whatever this shopping situation is, oh, if it's not shopping, it's a holiday situation thing. Okay, it's it's something about the something to do with something with the holidays. Don't take that literal. Don't take it exact. It could be hanging lights. It could be picking a Christmas tree. It could be buying an ornament for a friend. It could be getting a turkey. It could be, it could be the most weirdest thing that you didn't even think you would be out doing like a last minute, oh fudge, I ran out of tape to wrap presents. I don't think it's that far out, but you might be wrapping presents at, um, after you do the big Black Friday shopping. I don't know. I feel like I see November 28th and then I see forward. Um, I do feel like you do meet this person somehow definitely in person. Get off of online stuff. If you're on it, that's not how you're going to meet this person. This person is really genuine. You're going to find this person extremely good looking. They are down to earth and they want the exact same, same type 
of relationship that you do. And I, I just want to, I want to repeat this. I know I say it a lot on my show and here's the thing. If a guy looks at you and you're the one for this guy, he's, he's not putting you on pause while he's busy with anything. Okay. He's not doing that. He is, if he looks at you and he thinks, knows, feels, believes you're it, he's acting that way. Now, women, men listening to me, we've all been in a relationship where we looked at somebody and we were like, oh my gosh, what just hit me? And then that progresses and we have, we treat this person differently than we've ever treated any relationship and we want to see where it can go. If somebody's not treating you that way, they are not it. And I'll say this, I, I, I'm going to say this and I just don't, our ex-president with everything he had going, had time to tweet. Okay, so if he had time to tweet, somebody has time to get to you. You're a priority to those who see you as a priority and want you and want a future with you. If they are not acting accordingly, it's because they do not feel accordingly. And do not be somebody sometime, half time, maybe if they're not full in, full on wanting you and they cannot give you that answer. And I made that mistake. I did in the past. I I speak from experience just like everybody else. When I'm in a relationship, I don't always bring my abilities with me. I work more from my heart than my abilities, um, just like everybody else does. Do not let somebody string you along, waste your time, give you just enough to make you wonder, you know, deep down, if somebody hasn't scooped you up and let you know how serious they are about you, it's because they're not. So you just, you put them on pause and you go find that man. You let the boy go because only boys play games. So you put that boy down, you let him grow up with somebody else you let him grow up. It's not your job to turn to go from boys to men. You are not their agent. You are not their mama. If their mama couldn't do it, chances are you cannot. Eat. And this goes for men with women too. Uh, there's a lot of girls out there trying to play grown up games with men. Uh uh. You put them aside and you find yourself a real woman that genuinely wants you for you. Same thing. It is not your job to make a boy a man. And, and maybe he is a man, he's just not your man. And there's nothing wrong with that unless you're trying to change that. And I'm going to say this, whatever you believe in, God, whatever, has got something so much better planned for you, so much better. If we can let go of what's not working and we hold on to it out of fear, we hold on to it out of the what ifs. If we can let go of what's not working, Right. And I'm, I'm about to cry here because I feel this for each and every one of my family that is part of this journey. And we've all been there. Like if it's not working, whether no matter what it is, if we can just let that go, what will work, what's meant for us, what's beautiful for us will be right there in front of us and it will be magical because it's meant to be. And they will actually want us. We won't have to wonder if we're eventually going to work out because from the jump, they're going to be like, Oh my God, they're going to, their energy is going to feel so good to you. Okay. That's for everybody listening and you. Um, and I, I feel like right around that 28th of November, if it happens a little early, be open. Uh, timelines can switch, but I feel like somebody brand new, if you're open to something brand new, oh, Juanita Grant, you will get it. And you will say, thank you for not wanting me, Dondi. 
because this, <laughs> this, thank you for, for sitting down on the job because this person not only stands up on the job, but they own the job. They own this mother loving fudging job. And you're going to be so, you're going to be so grateful. It didn't work out with this person. Okay. Um, that's what I have for you. I'm going to try to get I don't think I have time for one more caller, but I do have time to answer um, one more question online. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, you guys, I'm going to say this before I, I I'm not going to go yet. Please remember, um, I'm here every Monday at noon central, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central, and I am based on the number of callers and questions. I'm please hit whatever you need to hit on whatever you're watching so you know when I come on again and I can I answer some more people and your questions. That gives me so much anxiety to not be able to get to everybody. I know that sounds crazy, but it's so true. Ah, ah, the pressure is real. Ah, okay, here's what I'm going to say. And, um, okay, and, um, Okay, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to go to the next person who would have been Kylie. When and where will I find my forever person? Um, Kylie, can you please put in the chat how old you are? Hi, hello, Kylie. Uh, please put in the chat how old you are for me. And uh, please work quickly because my clock is running down. Remember, everybody, I would stay on until everybody's question is answered because I'm a freak like that. But but guess what? The show can only be an hour long on TV. That's what my time frame is slotted at. So, uh, Kylie, you're 44. Thank you. And from Indiana. Thank you, Kylie. You're going to meet this person in a year to a year and a half. Now, I know that sounds far off. It is not. There's going to be somebody in the meantime, in between time, that is not your forever person, um, but it is somebody who is going to teach you a little bit more about what you really want. For Kylie and everybody else listening and watching that wants to meet their forever person, anything stopping, blocking us from a healthy, loving relationship, let's clear it now. All that caused it and kept it, let's clear it now. We're ready, willing, and able to be in healthy, loving relationships that are equally giving and taking. I get a no. Let's clear that now. Holy guacamole. Okay, everybody, um, and Kylie, when you meet this person, you're going to know immediately this is the person, and so are they. Um, I think the time frame has to do with something about location. And when the time comes, you're going to completely understand what that means. And listen, there's a timing on everything, folks. There's a timing on everything. If we meet the right person in the wrong time, I, I was with someone and they were such a good person. And they kept saying, why didn't I meet you at this particular time in this particular year or whatever? And that was when that person was ready for whatever, but it doesn't matter. It just didn't work out now. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting, Kylie. Nine, eight, she says, think I'll move back to Mississippi. That's what I'm getting. It, it's a geographical thing. I feel like the person that you're going to be with is definitely not a person from uh, that is where you are now, wherever you're going to be in between a year and a year and a half. Now, if you move back sooner, you might meet this person sooner, but I'm going to tell you seconds. when you do make this move, every, everything in your life is going to get a million times better. Okay, everybody, I love you so much. Please, um, Hit whatever you need to hit so you know when I'm going to pop up this weekend. Thank you for liking. Thank you for uh, being here with me. I love you all so much. Please remember it's uh, go make miracles in your life.